is long overdue, but here we go. I gotta tell you something. I'm doing something. And I'm gonna skip over today. his you religious know, and, point where okay, uh, it's an self promotion. You, just, you, you had it. Shit. I've been holding this it's all about that life. Let me take a sip. He's got to take a sip about complaining about everything. Under investigation from the time I was four or five years old. I had police around me all the time. I didn't like the government. I had the whole bit. And then you know the story. Okay, I got involved in 1970 with Joe Colombo. My dad is in prison. You know the whole bit. I'm in that life from 1970 until about 95 when I consider myself formally removed. Did time in prison, the whole bit. Arrested 18 times. I was on the street every day of my life in those 25 Complaining about being a fucking criminal and to think you could have been a doctor. Now you're some broken down old man who whines about the fucking world, claiming that you've left a life for the sake of your family after getting connected despite what it did to your mother and siblings while your dad got fucked. Oh yeah, and now you're using this channel as a front for another mob boss. God. Cry a fucking river. Five years, I lived in violation of God's law and the laws of man. I was a criminal, but I have a reference point for things that are going on today. How is God's law is fair? The thing is that birth is a crime according to Mr. Mob Boss God, while Adam and Eve offended God somehow, while being his creations. God supposedly being incapable of, quote, evil, whatever evil even means. No Christian is yet has defined that for me yet. None of us chose this life either, yet we suffer forever if we don't submit or surrender to this vile being. Whatever term you want to use. And I want to talk to you about them. Not a criminal anymore. Reformed, you know that. The transformation. No, you're just an asshole. That are happening today. I just don't understand it. How we put these people in office. So are all Christians reformed? Criminal past or not? No? What's your fucking point then? How do we do this? They're so ignorant. They're so uninformed. They try to shove things down our throats. They try to tell us that they're acting on our best behalf, for our benefit, for our welfare, for the welfare of the country, and it's just the opposite. Are they really that ignorant? All of them. I'm not talking about Democrats and Republicans alone. I'm talking about everybody. It doesn't matter what what party they're in. Yes, and I you're so fucking enlightened. That's just my values. Why? Because I'm a Christian, because I grew up Italian, and we have conservative <sighs> values. That's it. Even though we were criminals, we... Oh, wow. Okay. How are you any better than any of them? What do you expect or want from a politician? Do you even know what conservatism is and what this ideology calls for? What the fuck do either Christianity or Italian ethnicity have to do with politics? You carry on about all these politicians being ignorant, but listen to you. Not only have you not provided examples of anything, but now you're bringing religion and your ethnicity into this. What the fuck are you on about? still had conservative values about women, about respect, about honor, about certain things. We had values. That's just my nature. And of course, become a Christian, it's become a little bit, uh, I, I should say, a lot more emphasized in my life. But some of the things that are going on, let me tell you my routine every day. I oh, fuck. <sighs> you're just... Uh, you're, I don't even know what word I'm... Um, all you've done there was talk about how great you are. You know, self, uh, what's it, what is it, self, gr self aggrandizing or whatever you're doing there. Okay. Now you're going on about respect, women, and honor. What the hell do respect and honor have to do with society and economics? And what care for women does conservatism have? Based on everything I've heard you say, you perceive women as weak. As you say, you agree with Tate about men being men, which is complete bullshit, but, uh, and I'll be getting to that in another video. I get up early every morning my whole life. Doesn't matter how much sleep I get. If what I get does three hours your whole, if I get five hours of what? sleep, doesn't matter. What does any of this have to do with politics, Mike? When I was younger, Who cares? I'm out of bed, I'm ready to go, I'm working, you know, 24-7, whatever I did at that time was very aggressive on the street. Now it's different. 
72 years old. I get yeah, to relax a little bit, shit. but I'm still up okay, every well. morning. What do I do? Like most people, I grab my phone. First thing I have a good. F then I start to I read my social media, see how the YouTube thing is doing, see what other people are saying. I get into that a little bit for. A Yet you haven't commented on any of my video responses or my comments on yours. Cowardly much? You're just... All you've done here are self-aggrandize. Oh, I'm so great. Everybody else is so shitty. Why? Because I used to be a mob boss and now I'm a Christian. I get up early and do Bible shit. That's all you've done so far couple of minutes you know you have to do that because you're on social media it's an important platform that's how we spread the word that's how we do it thanks to all of you you know I have a, a fairly big viewership okay then then what do I do I start to read the newspaper I go to the New York Post I'm a New Yorker I've been reading it my whole life it's a little bit more conservative but I think it tells the truth that's my opinion you can disagree it's okay since when has news information been about one's opinion do you not verify everything you read? Of course not. You read the f you you believe the fucking Bible is true. Shouldn't media consumption be all about verification? Sounds like it's all about what you want to believe and, and not at all about discussion. And I start to read things that I just can't understand. I don't get it. Let me give you a couple of examples. Well, Christianity wants to take America over which even some Christians don't agree with or want, but the rest of you don't care. This religion degrades women, by the way. That somehow went over your fucking head. I had to write them down so I don't forget. Today's paper in New York, crazy New York, and I live in crazy California, you know, the bookends, two crazy, crazy states. Government is out of there. Crazy. Mind. We find out that now they have... You're completely machines. sensible, though. That cost eleven thousand dollars, by the way, that we are paying for. Not well, we are, you know, part of our tax money goes to all of this. Vending machines that sells drug paraphernalia and lip oh, balm. No. Well they're giving you No, we can't have that. Well the main problem is, as you falsely call the government out for being crazy, that you clearly haven't even looked it up looked up the looked the details up about this to learn why this is going on. This is apparently an effort to try helping addicts get clean. Of course, I just wasted my time explaining that to you. The only craziness about this that I can see is that the government is actually the culprit with this insanity that's been that has been the war on drugs, which has going on been going on for decades now. People obviously want these substances, which makes them an economic demand. You ever heard of economics? You ever heard of the basics of economics? If you learned about that, that would, you just, the logic would just place itself. But you don't want to do that. You want God. I used to be in the mafia. Now they were all this shit and I'm getting old. You've put your foot in your mouth again, Mikey. I mean, what's your fucking idea to help with the country's drug problem? Instead of shooting your ignorant mouth off on camera to your quote brothers and sisters in Christ Jesus is your idea okay could drugs ever cause harm to anyone if God made us all invincible lip balm along with it too in case you chap your lips you know while you're taking the drugs they got uh, you know the, the pipes that you need they got needles pretty soon they're gonna be selling syringes this is what they're doing and it's free all you have to do is put your zip code in. So if you're a drug user, a drug abuser... Is that what's really bothering you? Okay, it's all free? Their theory is they want to give you clean needles to inject this garbage into you. And they want to, they want to make it easy for you. Clean pipes so you don't d die from bacteria, but you still can die from the drugs. Hmm, so how dare the government try to help prevent diseases and such? Whatever, whatever used syringes cause people. How insane is this? Rather than spending money... How rational is it to join, willingly get connected to the mob to clear your father's name after what the life has done to, that, to your mother and siblings and then... Uh, I don't know... <laughs>
Anyway, you also said defunding the police is insane, but I know you didn't look that up because I took the fucking liberty myself of doing so months ago in response to your asshole video. I linked it in a reply, but either you or your chicken shit ghost ignored it. To get these people the help that they need, rather than spending money to try to encourage people to have two-parent homes, okay, where these young kids don't... You don't even know what causes drug addiction or why people want drugs. You're just jumping into conclusions here. That help, ah, uh, fuck. Anyway, that help is clearly not helping, huh? Maybe you should just keep doing your mafia shit. Or are you running out of material so you whine about the world instead as you push Christianity through your channel? A religion that says this world is naturally guilty and fallen, which means people naturally misbehave most of the time. You are complaining about this. Don't grow up like wild animals and they have the proper, you know, guidance from a male and a female or two people in the house that can teach them properly, right? Rather than, you know, stop this nonsense that's going on in the schools and teaching them the wrong thing, rather than do that, they're giving him drug paraphernalia. And you think this is going to... Got to blame someone, huh? You believe God is up there. Nothing can possibly be his fault. You don't have any wisdom to share, yet you cater to the Republican Party. Somehow Donald's policies are good. I doubt you even know what his fucking policies are. Solve the problem? Really? This is what taxpayer money is going for? To get clean drug addicts on the street? It makes no sense. Where should it go? But the military? The mayor of New York promoting this. This is what he wants to do. I think they installed three of them, of course, in the worst neighborhoods. Okay, the worst neighborhood. No, I can't this do that. Not the worst neighborhoods. The it's insanity, people. Yeah, I can talk from experience. I had a sister <laughs> died of an overdose go. of drugs. You know the story. My brother, 20... You, you have such experience, yet nobody is doing anything right and are insane. Why you have nothing, based in reality, to offer. To help solve the problem of drugs. All I heard from you mentioning your sister is that you are making this about you. Five years of drug addict. You think God said, hey, sis, don't worry about it. You have a clean needle. Well, she did have clean needles and she died anyway. And my brother had clean needles. So he what? And he and he was a drug addict for 20. So this whole program is garbage because you lost your sister because she had clean needles. She had the resources. I mean, that's really your argument against this? Really? <laughs> You're no better than the government is, is well, I mean, ah, oh, fuck. 25 years. I mean, come on, this is insanity. Yet I'm certain you've never asked them why they do drugs. Now we have Mr. Mafia turned Christian YouTube preacher complaining about the government and society. And you are going to be a doctor. Fuck. What are these people thinking? They don't have a better solution? What are you they thinking? Want, because they really don't care. God? The line is they don't care. Because if they did care, they would think it out properly and they put the money to good use and give these people the help that they need. You don't help them by encouraging Do you even know what they need? You would say Jesus, but how can Jesus be what they need? What does Christianity have to do with drug addiction? Encouraging drug use. It's the same thing, you know, with gambling. I give you a That's a straw man. The government isn't encouraging drug use. They're only trying to prevent disease and whatever else. The government is the culprit, but you're the last person to be saying anything. The GOP is about minimal government, after all. I mean, I could see that you're out of your mind every time you mention your Christian beliefs. How would you react to that? Oh wait, you wouldn't, because you don't even pay attention. Quick story. Years ago, I had bookmakers that worked for me, 
And in New York, go. they brought in off-track betting, legalized gambling on the racetrack. The cops at the t I used to be in the mafia, so therefore all this is wrong. This is bullshit. Time came to me and said, we're going to put your people out of business. Now they can come here. They don't need the bookmaker. Really? I says, watch what happens. Because in off-track betting, when you go, they didn't take credit. You had to put your money down right there. Well, what happens with gamblers? Most of the time, they lose. So when they Which lose would raise the, the psychological out, question of they why they, they want to the gamble. A lot of them even so know they did, gambling is they bullshit. Gambling because they made it more accessible. So, how exactly is gambling wrong? Yes, it does lead to problems, but... Well, people have a right to do that with their own money. You don't have a problem with church taking money, do you? What the fuck? Uh, man, now you're going on about gambling. Mr. Christian, a former mob guy, is complaining about social ills while peddling Christianity. The fallen world is offending the Christian and must stop behaving like a fallen fucking world. It's supposed to be that way. Same thing that's happening now. I'm being called back to universities because I predicted this. I said the more you give access to these young people to gamble, the more they're gonna the more they're gonna gamble, and they're gonna get in trouble again. That With what? How long have you been lecturing students? Is that decreasing all of this debauchery? I'll leave it at this for now. I don't know. It's, this guy is just ridiculous.